minor here. One of the simplest and nicest things to tumble is agate. It's hard, it takes a good polish, pretty hard to mess up. And I've got an empty tumbler. We have a three pound barrel. Normally, it'll hold about two pounds of rock, but you can put up to about three pounds into this tumbler. So this is a rotary tumbler, a Loratone 3A. And what we're going to do is take a look at some agate from India, cut it so it fits the barrel, and get it polishing. Come join me. I think we'll have some fun. The trade name for the darker rock is black skinned agate. And for the lighter rock is white skinned agate. <laughs> it looks like a face. Hello. I am a white skinned agate. <laughs> it sells in Canada for about five dollars a pound, and I have two and a half pounds here. These rocks as is will be a little bit large for my tumbler. So we'll give them a cut. We'll see what's inside and then we'll set them to tumbling. For this project, I'm just using an old tile saw with a blade that was suitable for cutting porcelain. I think one of the most fun things is cutting a rock to see what's inside. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? You like? I like. This one is the most plain inside, but it still might make a nice tumble. We'll slice it up a bit smaller. This is the before, a variety of shapes and sizes. So add water to just below the top level of rocks. Three tablespoons of silicon carbide 6090 coarse tumbling grit. We're good to go. The India agate has been tumbling for two weeks. I took a look after one week and they weren't quite ready, so I'm confident now we're ready to go on to medium grit, which is stage two. Let's go. Here they are, clean and dry. Mostly dry anyway. And all we really wanted from this stage, this first stage, was the rounding to be complete. Let's get them in the barrel and get them tumbling in medium grit. You want to notice the barrel is under half full. You will not effectively tumble with too little rock in there. A variety of tumbler media. This is plastic pellets and ceramic media. Okay, we're now three quarters full. 
clean water. And now our grit. Check it in a week. There's the rocks cleaned and wet. Let's watch them dry. I'll put you on time lapse. There's the rocks dry ish. We'll get them in pre-polish. We'll add fresh tumbler media. Silicon carbide, 500 grit. Go with three scoops. Well, it's been a week. It's time to open this up and get it into polish. There they are dry. See, when they're wet, they have more of a shine, but we still need to put them into polish. And for the polish, we'll use Illumina Stage 4 Tumbler Polish. Fresh tumbler media to get it to three quarters full. Fresh clean water. I think we're good to go. It's been like 15 days. Let's put on some water. There's my little buddy back, a tree frog. <laughs> I think he likes the cold taps. Cold, moist, moist. All right, I will continue to rinse them off, let them dry, and I'll show you what they look like. We'll probably want to put them in burnish. There's my rocks dry, and I think this is probably the first tumble that I wonder if burnish is really required. You can tell normally if it should be burnished by rubbing it with a soft cloth, and if the gloss improves, burnishing will help. I'm going to burnish anyway. Powdered ivory soap, out of water. Normally you run about three hours. I'm going to run out of daylight, so I'll do it overnight. See you tomorrow. Well, let's see what treasures are inside. The rocks. Looking all right wet. I'll give them a final rinse with warm water. Let them dry off, and we'll take a look. So thank you so much for watching. This was a fun tumble. I think they came out okay. Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye for now.